These are some little fresh calves that we just turned out. So here for the first couple of weeks, we are in them pretty steady just to make sure there's no sickness. From here, they'll go, eventually they'll all go to the feed yard, you know, to get fed out. We'll be looking for calves with a little bit of a snotty nose, maybe a little drawed up, a little gant. So when we get out here, we don't have a chute around or any pins, so we're just gonna rope them, tie them down, and uh, doctor them that away. This little Charlay calf right here is a little puny. I'm gonna ease him out here and give him a shot. So I like to drive them out here a little ways, and I personally like to take my mine to the left. I feel like it just sets my horse up. It's more controlled for my horse to go to the left and everything I do from here on out in the arena is most of the time to the left. So I, I like my horses real left leaded. So I, uh, I just think you get a better go on your, you know, to, for what you have to do going to the left like this. Roping and doctoring outside is just the easiest for us to, we get to use our horses a lot. And uh, that's just the way we've always done it. So I think it's the fastest way to do it myself. We do it as low stress as possible. I mean, we're as easy, I mean, we're here to, to take care of the cattle and to do what's best for the cattle. Brooke's gonna heal him and she'll just hold him and I'll get off and doctor him. It's definitely easier and faster with two people when you just head and heal them versus having to jerk them all down and tie them down. So there is, it is definitely better to have two people and definitely faster. We're giving this calf res floor. That is a uh, new floor and banamine mixed together. And I like to, uh, when I start out, I put the needle straight down and kind of get it in the muscle. And then I just pull, pull the needle out and give some of it under the skin. So it's just a one shot deal. The date, that way we kind of know what, what day we doctored them. And we like to mark them in the head too. That way, whenever they look at you, you can tell. And I bet it didn't take us three minutes from the time we sorted him out, okay, to the time we doctored him. And he's easing back to water. So when I'm out here doctoring, I like to tie on. Uh, mainly just the way I like to rope. I just like to tie on. If I'm on a young green horse, you know, I'll dally just for safety purposes, but most of the time I tie on everything I do. And I use a, a 10-0 extra soft weapon from Cactus Ropes, and I like to put a speed burner in them. That way, whenever you do this right here, you got them. The benefit of getting a rope and doctor outside, uh, that's the, the starting stage of making a rope horse, I think. You get to go lots of outside miles. Um, after you do this on them for a wheat season, it's just easy. I mean, they're, they're, they're all but made. I mean, they're actually having to work for a living. You know, they're not just rope horses that live in a box stall and get petted on all day. They actually work for a living and I, to me think that that's the only way to make one and these are the best horses a horse that actually get used and using them out here their minds are just so much better i mean i could back these horses that i use in a wheat season you know we'll ride them seven days a week and whenever we get ready to start roping on them you just back them in the box and go there's no box sweat hardly i mean their minds are so so much better you know like i said from having to work for a living so we're done for the day here. Uh, 
we got everything drove to water doctored a few and we're fixing to turn some more fresh calves out and but we'll be right back here in the morning and start all over again